Hello, my name is Jacqueline Ho, and welcome to your third trimester labor prep yoga. If you're here, that means that we're really close. <laughs> we are near the finish line, the light at the end of the tunnel, the final push. <sighs> it, it's gonna be great. <laughs> So the flow that I have created for you today has a lot of hip openers, a lot of heart openers, and kind of just gets us really mobile within our own bodies. I want you to remember that through your pregnancy, you have an increased hormone of relaxin, so you might feel like you can go a little bit deeper than you normally can. Be super mindful of that. It can sometimes lead to overstretching, and that's not fun either. So the goal for today is to really listen to your body take the options that you need. We're not trying to set PRs today. We are just trying to flow with uh, what feels good. If you have yoga blocks, I highly recommend them. If you don't have yoga blocks, maybe having like a chair or a couch nearby, something sturdy that you can hold on to and use as an assist if needed. Other than that, all you need is yourself and your yoga mat, and that's all. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, friends, one more item that I think you'd really like to have nearby is a set of pillows or a bolster, something that you can lay on, lean on uh, towards the end of practice. So if you need that, go ahead and pause this video and then come right back. <laughs> All right, other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So we are in a nice, comfortable seated position here. However you'd like, you can sit cross-legged, you can come to lotus pose. If your hips are feeling really tight, you can take a block and place it under your sit bones or sit onto a blanket. Whenever you're ready, find that seat. Go ahead and roll your shoulders forwards a couple of times. And then go ahead and roll them back a few times. Good. And then go ahead and flutter your eyes closed. Sit up nice and tall and just take a moment to be here, fully here. I want you to draw some attention into your pelvic floor. Allow it to fully relax, fully let go. Find a nice even breath. When you're ready, go ahead and take a big breath in. Continue that relaxation through the pelvic floor. And on your exhale, blow out some candles and then pull the pelvic floor up. Good. As you do that, you're drawing your belly button towards your baby. You're activating that core. And then as you inhale, you let that pelvic floor relax. Expand the rib cage, the heart, the lungs, and then blow those candles out. Good. Do a couple more of those. Maybe one more. Good, and then find a normal breath again. Nice and controlled, nice and relaxed. Soften the shoulders. Good. When you're ready, gently flutter those eyes open. And let's go ahead and pop onto all fours. I love starting with that pelvic floor exercise just because it wakes it up. It reminds you that it there, it's there and that it exists. <laughs> when you're ready, go ahead and bring those hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, coming into our spinal opener. So we'll start with cat cow. Inhale, belly drops, look up. Exhale, round out the spine, tuck the chin to the chest. 
But as you come into your body today, maybe something else will feel good. Maybe you wanna do some C curves, wag those hips side to side. Maybe you wanna do full barrel rolls all the way around, making sure you switch directions. Good, whatever feels good for you. We just wanna wake up that spine. Good, maybe add some shoulders into it. Maybe even add some hips into it. This is your practice. I want you to really make sure that you are listening to your body and whatever you need. Awesome. From here, go ahead and bring yourself to stillness. Find that nice neutral spine. And then when you're ready, let's go ahead and shoot that right arm forward. Big reach, trying to keep that spine nice and neutral and not moving. So as we lifted our arm, we didn't shift our hips back or tilt off to one side. We kept a relatively nice strong stance. Switch other side, inhale, and exhale down. Good, right hand inhale, and exhale down. One more inhale, left arm, and exhale down. Amazing. Let's go ahead and do legs. You're gonna inhale, take that right leg back, push all the way back, hips are square, and exhale, take it down. Good, inhale, left leg, push back and exhale in, awesome. Two more times, right leg, and down, and left leg, and down, amazing. This time we're gonna go ahead and combine it if that feels good for you. If not, just stick with single arm and single leg. When you're ready, inhale, right arm, left leg reaches, nice and strong, big stretch, Yes, and then go ahead and take it right back down. Other side, inhale, left arm, right leg, reach. And exhale down. Two more, inhale, reach. And exhale. Last one, inhale, reach. And exhale. Good. We're gonna do one more each side. This time, inhale, reach, right arm up, left leg up, and hold. Good, find that balance. Awesome, awesome. And then maybe tuck the elbow towards the knee. You don't have to crunch, just bring them towards the center, and then reach it out long. Good, two more tuck, and reach. One more tuck, and one more reach. Good, and take it back down. And you do have the option there to fully tuck like that if you'd like. Um, if your belly is growing and you're like, that doesn't feel comfortable, you can keep that neutral spine and just move those limbs. That's totally fine. Inhale, other side, left arm, right leg, reach. And then exhale, tuck. So I'm keeping that neutral spine right now. Two more, inhale, reach. This is what the full tuck looks like right here. Up to you, and one more reach. And then exhale down. Good, just gives you a nice little spinal um, movement. When you're ready, go ahead, bring the knees out wide and bring yourself into child's pose. You can place your hands on top of your, or your head on top of your hands, or reach your arms long, or any other variation that feels comfortable. Soften through the shoulders. Find a nice deep breath. Good. As you're here, inhale, lift yourself all the way up. Bring those knees back in line with your hips. And coming into puppy dog, you're just gonna take those arms. Option one, come onto your elbows just like this. Make sure your hips are still over your knees and just allow your spine to arch in rest. If you'd like to, you can also come into a deeper puppy dog all the way onto the ground. Good, find what works for you, what's comfortable for you. If you have blocks too, you can also rest your head right here. Just giving yourself a moment to get slightly inverted and to open up that spine, whatever feels nice. When you're ready, you can pop on up 
curl those toes, lift those hips, and press back into downward dog. Pedal those heels up and down, stretching out the back of the legs. Maybe shimmy that chest side to side. Good, keep breathing, keep moving. And again, don't forget to listen to your body. If something doesn't feel awesome, ease it back, take an option, whatever you need. From here, keep those legs wide and maybe crawl yourself to the top of the mat however you can. If you have your block, go ahead and hold on to it. Just find like a really casual forward fold. It doesn't have to be your strict feet together or anything like that. Just something to give yourself a little bit of an inversion to refresh that blood. Once you're ready, bend your knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time all the way up to standing. Inhale, reach those arms up to the sky. And exhale, right arm down, left arm over, side body bend, open up through that side body. Yes, give baby space, open the rib cage. And then inhale up and exhale, switch other side. Good, big old stretch. Amazing. One more each side, inhale, reach. And exhale, stretch. Inhale, reach, and exhale, stretch. Good. And release. From here, you're gonna go ahead and take those hands on your hips, and not your typical yoga pose, but we're just gonna add some hip circles right here. It might look a little funny, but it's gonna feel really good. We just wanna give some mobility through our hips. Nice, and then reverse directions. You can even put on a song and dance to this. <laughs> and trust me, a lot of these poses, these movements may feel good when you're in labor, when you're in the transitioning phase, or when you're in that early stage. You never know. So it's good to have this toolbox of poses that you can put in your pocket and come to whenever you need. Good, maybe shake it out side to side and then bring it all the way to the center. Big inhale, reach those arms up, and then exhale, hands to your heart. Amazing. We're gonna go ahead and take our right leg up, just a little bit. If you feel like balancing, you totally can. If not, you can keep it on the ground, and then just find your way back into warrior two. So right leg comes back, and left leg is forward, and I'm just gonna turn so that I'm not showing my booty to you the whole time. So left leg forward, right leg back. That front ankle is intersecting that back arch. That's how you know you're in the right place. Roll those shoulders back, arms come open. Good. As you inhale, reach those fingertips forward and then exhale, flip the palm and reverse your warrior. Good, two more, inhale, reach. And exhale, reverse. One more, inhale, reach and exhale, reverse. Take that top arm, place it down on your thigh, and then the other top arm now <laughs> is gonna reach on over for your extended side angle pose. Good, you wanna make sure that the hip is really opening right here. You can have this option to put your hand onto your thigh. If you have a block or couch or a cyst nearby, you can also hold that and find this position too. So you can feel like today we're really working on opening the hips, opening the side body. We're just giving ourselves space um, to prep for what is ahead. And you are totally ready for it. But it's nice to, it's like the warm up. You know, it's nice to warm up before you go into the workout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. Okay, inhale, come back up, warrior two, and then gently straighten out this front leg. You don't want it fully locked out because we want to make your blood keep slowing. So you want to find that micro bend. Arms come out into triangle pose, reaching forward. And again, option to come down to the block on either of the sides or the ground. The common thing here with triangle pose is there's a tendency to fall forward. So just pull your chest back in line with your hips. That way you get the most stretch through your hips and this nice alignment happening. Good. We're gonna keep it dynamic today. As you inhale, close that triangle and exhale, open up. Two more, close and exhale, open. One more time, close and exhale, open. 
good. Bend that front knee and then come all the way back up to your warrior two. And then all you're gonna do is cartwheel those hands to the ground and step back onto all fours, onto your knees. From here, inhale, cat, though this is cow. <laughs> and then exhale, cat. <sighs> One more time, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. <sighs> Good. Bring yourself to neutral spine right here. And you're just gonna walk your hands off the mat and then sink your hips away from those fingertips. So hands are to the left corner, hips push to the right corner. Again, opening up through the lats through the side body. And then bring it up, crawl to the other side. Left arm is out, so right corner of the mat and hips to the left corner in big old stretch. Amazing. Come all the way back up. Curl those toes. Downward dog. Bend those knees. And then walk your way to the top of the mat. Keep those legs nice and wide. Inhale, arms come up. And then exhale, side bend to the right side. Inhale up. Exhale, side bend to the left side. Inhale up and open up cactus. Good, open up that heart. Amazing. Inhale, hands up and exhale, hands flow to the heart. Good, this time that left leg either lifts or just the weight shifts over a little bit. And then make your way into warrior two on the other side. So this time, right foot's forward, intersecting our left back arch and then arms come out. Good, soften those shoulders, find that strong bend, making sure that this knee is about above the right ankle. And again, you can adjust this stance. Maybe you're here, maybe you're wider. Remembering that we have lots of that relaxing in us, so don't go too crazy. You can go as crazy as you want though. <laughs> Inhale, dip those fingers forward, and exhale, palms back, reverse your warrior, keep those legs where they are. Two more, inhale, reach and exhale, reverse. One more time, inhale, reach, and exhale, reverse. Good, hold here for just a second. Keep feeling that stretch through the side body, hips feeling good, open, everybody's happy, and then elbow to the thigh, side angle. Amazing, pressing out of that shoulder, and again, you have that option if you wanna use your block to use that as well. Good, nice deep breaths. Easing off where you need to. Remembering this is about you and you listening to your body. Inhale, come up, warrior two. And then gently straighten that front leg, if that's what you'd like. Dip those fingers forward. And then come into that triangle pose, keeping that micro bend in the right leg. Shoulders align back with those hips. Side body opens. Right hip is opening, and baby's just gonna party in there. <laughs> Good, nice deep breath. Inhale, close it up. Exhale, open. Two more, close. And open. One more, close. And open. Good, bend that front knee again. Come into warrior two, and then cartwheel those hands to the ground. Step back onto all fours. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. <laughs> and then when you're ready, curl those toes, downward dog. Awesome, then those knees look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of the mat. I said exhale, step or float. That was, that was habit. You may not float right now, but it's okay. Inhale, stand all the way up. <laughs> Sorry. Exhale, come over to one side. That was just 
that's ingrained in me. <laughs> Switch, inhale up and exhale, other side. Good, inhale, reach, and then exhale, cactus. Good, take those hands, support that lower back, coming right on top of the back of your pelvis, roll your shoulders together, and then just find a mini supported, I'll call it back bend, but we're not back bending much anywhere. <laughs> we wanna control it, we just wanna open up that heart a little bit. Good, and then slowly, Curl back, bring those shoulders forward. Awesome. From here, you're gonna balance onto that right leg again. Left leg comes up, and then you're gonna take a big step back into our five-pointed star. Arms come out, toes to the corners, heels are in. As you inhale, reach those arms up, and then exhale, goddess pose, take it down. Elbows come out and knees press out. Chest is lifted, okay? Inhale, reach. And big exhale, goddess. Yes, couple more. Inhale, reach. And exhale, goddess. One more time, inhale, reach. And exhale. Good. Hold it here in goddess. Take those hands on those thighs and just gently support yourself, rocking side to side. Good, getting mobility within those hips. Yes, and then go ahead and bring yourself to stillness. Keep your hands on your thighs, and I really want you to press onto those thighs, keep those hips open, knees come out, and then gently drop your shoulder just a little bit, just a gentle twist, and lift up, and exhale, other side, a little twist. Good, if that feels good, if the twist is too intense, just stay to the center. Good, bring it back in, inhale up, and exhale, hands to your heart, toes come forward, and then forward fold, wide-legged forward fold, coming all the way down. If you have your block, go ahead and grab it, use it to bring the earth closer to you, if you'd like. And then from here, I just want you to shimmy your hips side to side. Good, kind of just playing with that. Awesome and then bring yourself to stillness. If those twists do feel nice for you, these aren't super deep twists, these are kind of just spine opening twists, but it's dependent, everyone's a little bit different. So if you like them, big inhale, left arm comes up, reach, nice. This gives you that nice mobility through your spine, lengthens and opens everything. Take it down, other side, reach. And down. Again, one word side reach, and down, right side reach, and down. Good, good, good. All right, friends. From here, all you're gonna do is bend into your right knee, come into a nice little side lunge. Again, if you have that block, you can use it. And if you wanna get a little deeper, you can take one or two blocks, stack them up, and then meet all the way down. Good, so this is your option. You can use the blocks, you can also go without the blocks, or you can stay leaning forward, coming here. Wherever you are, you wanna make sure your knees opening, pressing out, and we're getting that nice little stretch. So, totally up to you. If you're going sans block, you can also come down like this. Ideally, I want your heel to be down so that we allow this nice big stretch to happen. Sometimes when your heel is up, then you're just working really hard. <laughs> you're working hard, your calf's working hard, your foot's working hard, and we kind of want to allow ourselves to sink into it. So take your option, blocks, no blocks, totally up to you. And then when you're ready, switch other side. So again, you can stay up lifted just like this. You can sit back on the blocks, or you can sit, no blocks. <sighs> That's not the best stack, don't copy me. <laughs> I'm it's too much work to fix them. <laughs> Good, one more each side. Come to the right side, find that stretch. Good, and then left side. This is called skandasana, or you can call it your side lunge, whatever floats your boat. 
Good work, friends. If it feels good, you can do a couple more, or you can just come here and shake it out side to side, whatever you would like. Ooh, shake out those hips. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and toe heel those feet closer. <laughs> they don't have to touch because the belly is definitely there, so we don't want to, it's not possible. Inhale, reach those arms all the way up to the sky, big stretch and exhale, hands to the heart. Amazing. Let's go ahead and find a seat on the ground. You can face any direction that you'd like. I'm just gonna face you. And we're gonna go ahead and as you've noticed, we did a lot of wide-legged, nice top of the pelvis, hip opening stuff. And now we're gonna try to mobilize other parts of our hips. So you're gonna go ahead and sit just like this, bring those arms back, chest is forward, and legs can be nice and wide. And we're just gonna do our little windshield wipers here. I love this because it just, you know, mobilizes our hips, gets some internal rotation going. It feels good. Nice. Go ahead and hold it off to one side. Really press um, the knee down and then you'll feel that stretch come through the hips. Woo. And then switch other side. Good, good, good. We are crushing it. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so proud of you. All right, go ahead and bring it up into a seated position. And we're gonna kind of keep that position. There is so much dog hair on me. I don't know if you can see it, but I just am like very aware of it right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna come into this mermaid position or like a 90-90, uh, similar to kind of what we were doing, but the legs are more in front of us than to the sides. And then all we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna cue you this way. My knees are bent to the left side. My knees are bent to the left side. So we're gonna bring the left arm up and then oh, reach over, okay? <laughs> so you're reaching towards, towards the feet. Reach towards the feet, good. And then go ahead and reach away from the feet. And then towards the feet. Yes, two more, reach. And reach. One more time, reach. And reach. Amazing. And relax. Go ahead, switch it other side. So knees are to the right side and right arm goes up. <laughs> reach on over, big side body stretch and reach away. Side body, right arm up and then left arm up. One more time, right arm and left arm. Good, this time right arm comes over. Just give it a little, little extra love. Stay right here. Good, and gently ease yourself all the way out. Amazing, we're gonna come into cow pose. Um, and I will give you some options if it doesn't feel good for you. But essentially, one knee's bent forward and the other knee is bent on top and belly might be in the way, hips might be really tight, but what this is doing is giving us a new rotation for our hips. So we do want to get as close as we can to this. So options, if you're feeling tight, so I'm feeling tight in my right hip, you can take a block and you can sit on it, and that should help you kind of adjust where you are. You can also take a pillow or a blanket and place it on top of your knees. Whatever feels good for you, and actually I don't, no, I was moving that. I'm gonna stay on top of the block. <laughs> but what this is doing is it just allows our pelvis to just be worked in a different way. So we are felt somewhat good with opening and now we're kind of manipulating it because there's lots of positions it's gonna go through. <laughs> so this is called our cow pose. I want you to sit up really, really nice and tall. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Good, and this is gonna feel and look a little bit different than if you were not pregnant. You might have some more space or mobility um, when you're not pregnant. <laughs> just honest, but it's like real. It's This is just what it's like. It's just, we gotta adjust as we go. 
All right, so our right knee is the one on top. Left hand goes to the outside of the right thigh. And then if you'd like to, just a little gentle twist. Good. And then gently ease yourself out and then undo the legs. And we have one more side. So this time my right knee comes under and my left knee comes over. And it's okay if you're tight. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like this is feeling really, really tight for me and there might be a lot of space here, uh, but I just wanna get my hips into this new position. So. When you're ready, sit up nice and tall, find your place. And again, if cow is like totally not comfortable and you're just like, no, 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 no. You can always come into a cross-legged position. You can also bring one leg on top, whatever you'd like, okay? All right, left leg's on top, right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Just a gentle twist if that feels good. Generally with pregnancy, we want to avoid really deep, deep compressions, like super deep twists. Um, but you'll know right away. You're like, oh, that was, it doesn't feel good. There's just like something in the way. You're like, I can't twist that. Or maybe that's just uncomfortable. So you'll know, you'll know. Good. And then gently take yourself all the way out. Very good, friends. Just a couple more things here. Let's go ahead and come on to all fours. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna take that right leg, push it all the way back. And then as you exhale, bring the right leg in and find your way into pigeon pose. Good. So this is also, this might feel a little bit different for you as well. So make adjustments as you need. Option to put that block under your hip, put a blanket, put a pillow, or you can use your blocks to help prop you up like this. But remember, we're really flexible right now, so you don't want to overstretch it. Just kind of ease into it. Err on the side of caution. Is that what it's, is that how you say that? Be cautious. <laughs> um, and just kind of allow your hips to sink into it. Nice deep breath. Good, soften the shoulders, soften the jaw. If it feels good for you, you can come forward. Maybe coming forward onto a block is nice. Good, one more breath here. And then gently peel yourself up and out from wherever you are. Go ahead and switch it to, actually come onto all fours and then wag your tail real quick. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. And then this time left leg comes out and then exhale, half pigeon on the other side. Good. Again, you choose what you need, what position you would like to be in, whatever. All good. Nice deep breaths. How are you feeling? Are you happy? I hope so. I'm very glad you're here and that I'm here and that we're here together with our babies. <laughs> what a crazy time, right? Such a crazy time. I sometimes can't believe it. <laughs> when you're ready, ease yourself all the way out. Woo! Back to all fours and then wag that tail. Good. From here, we're gonna go ahead and keep all fours. This time, we're gonna go ahead and reverse our wide leg child pose. We're actually gonna take our toes out, keep our knees in, and then just kind of do a nice little dynamic moment here. Again, working our pelvis in a different way. Good, nice deep breaths. You can also hold if you'd like. And then when you're ready, take it back. Awesome. Now we're gonna slowly move into our Shavasana portion of class. There are a couple different way, things that we can do. If you are comfortable and happy as a clam on your back, you can definitely go there. I'd recommend placing pillows or blankets under your knees, um, or we can prop ourselves up. So let me show you this option first, and then I'll show you the non-lying on the back option. 
This is not a proper bolster. <laughs> this is just a lumbar pillow, but it should do the trick for what I'm trying to do. So you're gonna place the block under the bolster, make sure it's nice and supported. Uh, this is on the medium side, and then you have an option to also put one on the low side at the very base, or if you're happy with just the medium side up here, you can be good. And if you're like, my bolster doesn't seem very supported, you can put two, and then you just wanna make sure you don't fall. Yeah, ever. <laughs> so what you can do here is you can come down onto your back, onto the bolster, and now you have this like nice incline. Oh, it feels so good. Um, I don't know what I was saying. Uh, you have this nice support here. You wanna make sure that your head is about where the bolsters are and then your back is angling down. There is a little bit of a dip for here, so for me here, so I can kind of feel my back curling, but ideally I'd want it to be open. And then this is your new and improved Shavasana. Arms can come to the side. Again, you can also put a blanket under your knees so that you're supported there too. And that is an amazing feeling. I don't think I'm gonna leave. I think you'll just have to figure out the next option. <laughs> so you can stay there if you'd like. You can also be really creative with whatever household items you have to get here. Just make sure that this pillow is supported because I don't want you to fall off. Okay, and then if you are like, I don't wanna be on my back, you can take this pillow, place it right in front of you, and we're gonna do a wide-legged child's pose. So just come here and then hug your pillow, and that feels great too. Awesome, okay, that might've gotten muffled. So here, lay down. Hug your pillow, feels great, is what I said. All right, so you choose what you'd like. We're gonna spend a couple minutes in each pose, or a couple minutes in this Shavasana, and then I will call you out when it's ready. Close your eyes, relax, and just chill. Deep in that breath. Bringing an affirmation into your heart, your head, your body. Reminding yourself that you are amazing, that you are capable, that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Be proud of yourself in this moment and in all moments. Remember to keep your light. You are producing a miracle. Gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then wherever you are, keep those eyes closed and gently make your way back into a comfortable seated position. Take your time, however you need to exit, do so safely. Once you've found your seat, go ahead and take both hands, place them on top of your knees, palms facing the sky. Soften the shoulders, soften your jaw, your tongue, your eyebrows. And again, allowing yourself to be here, fully here.
bringing that affirmation back into your heart, holding it close. Release all your breath. Take a big inhale, sweep up both arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale, hands float to your heart. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste. Amazing work. I hope that you enjoyed this labor prep yoga flow. If you have any other questions or requests, let me know, pop it down below. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, have an amazing week and I will see you so soon. Bye.